Morning, hello. Your, your laptop. TikTok has web. Yeah. You can put your laptop right there. So we are. We. Oh, the kids. I don't know if they're gonna let us do this. I hear them whining already. I am making a bunch of. Well, I'm not gonna call them smash burgers because people did not appreciate that. So Copyright they, infringement. They are not smash burgers. So I'm gonna call them squish burgers. So I'm gonna make, well that was not the middle. I'm gonna, um, Puff says I'm yelling. Am I yelling? <laughs> I just wanna make sure you guys can hear they me. They can hear you through the, they don't have to actually hear you. Oh, there's Devin, hey Devin. Okay, so not sponsored. This is my favorite ground beef. I'm trying to get it sponsored, they're ignoring me. Um, but I love it, it's from Whole Foods. It's like, this three pack is only $15 and um or and sometimes it's on sale single for like four dollars and it's good i mean it's not grass fed grass finished i'm assuming it's having some grass because they're freaking pasture raised anywho enough of that so i'm gonna i'm gonna squish them and just have like a whole stack ready. me <laughs> too jeff just squished it too um oh, have a whole stack ready in the fridge um in between meat so that way they're just easy to ready to grill because i'm not loving re-warmed up burgers sometimes now these ones were fine but sometimes they have like a weird fish taste have you ever had that like because you eat leftovers you take the no, don't, no, don't, don't answer <laughs> that my day. so my thoughts are i'm gonna have oh, them oh i didn't finish um ready to just pop on and grill and let me know, is this the carnivore couple? <laughs> Are we the carnivore couple? Oh my God, I'm like shaking. I had too, well, I just had a little too much coffee and I think I'm like a little nervous right now. So I'm afraid you guys are gonna like tear me apart. Um, but let me know if you have any questions about carnivore. We can do an update too. Jess, how much weight have you lost? Um. I don't know, 25 pounds. He so lost 25 pounds, of course, well, I only like started in two, two days ago. <laughs> in two weeks or something crazy. No. He started, I've been three months and he's been, um, you started a little bit before me. Did I? Keto ish. Oh, well, I yeah, mean, yeah I was keto before I started this. So he's lost 20, 25. I'm actually, will you ever become a raw carnivore? Mm -hmm. No, I mean, I eat my steaks medium rare. That's about it. Well, I've had beef carpaccio. Carpaccio, is that how you say it? But no, I don't, I don't really care for it raw. Um, sorry, I'm getting distracted. Back to the update. Okay, so I'm probably around 25 pounds lost too. I'm on that week of my cycle where the scale's gonna be up a little bit right now, so it's not like totally accurate. Um, and I'm like, three months in. What is wrong with your dog? My dog is psycho. Oh no. She just ate one of the kids' toys. No, um, it's not a kid's toy. Serious question, how is your cholesterol? Cause I heard it would be bad if I did this. Okay. Why am I so shaky right now? Okay. Is this all the spicy so, cheese we have? Yeah. There's right. blue cheese and there's shredded. No. Okay, the cholesterol thing. I have not had mine checked since going carnivore. He's getting his done sooner than later. Um, that being said, I am not concerned. <clears throat> Everybody that I know that eats this way, their labs are fine. So oh, I feel like it's just, oh, Jesus Christ. It's, there's a lot more to it than just a number. But it's not the, so eating cholesterol and eating fat and all that, that's not gonna do it. It's the carbs and the sugars and all that, that's what's gonna fuck with, can I cuss? I feel like I got in trouble last week or the other day for having an F word in my video because no one saw it. Um, where, okay, well, Dude, I shouldn't have had coffee. I feel really diet, disgusted. Dietary cholesterol has little to no effect on your actual blood cholesterol levels. And that being <clears> said, <throat> it's, you can't just take the number. If you're looking at the LDL, which is what everyone's looking at, it, there's a good analogy. So they just give you a number. Stay under 100 or whatever that case is. Yeah, take a face oh. on there. Right, so read the other ones. basically the number doesn't mean anything. Because if you were to, say, open the sunroof of your car, and you know those 
playpen balls, those colored balls, if you were to fill the entire car with a sunroof up to that, all the way up, however many those are, well, you could easily open up the door and get them all out in, you know, a minute. You can clear out your car of those. But if you open the sunroof and dumped in sand all the way to the top, well, you're going to get sand in crevices and cracks. You're going to get them everywhere. So particle size is what matters when it comes to the cholesterol. Because after a certain uh, size, they can't stick to the wall and create plaque and do all that. So it's not just a number. You could have 300 LDL, but they're all large particles. And so it's not going to be any danger to you. Or you could have... And the ratio yeah, between or you could have, the two. Or you could have 80 and then be all small. That's why you see people that are supposedly healthy keel over with really bad cholesterol, have a heart attack because it was all small particles. And the ratio to HDL. So it's a lot more than just that one LDL number that affects your health. And just a little bit more on that. So just eating this way isn't going to raise your cholesterol. It could do the high one a little bit, like he was saying, or the, the good one a little bit. But it's like the carbs and the sugar and all that that's really going to affect it. Like, I'm excited to get mine done because I got mine done before I ate this way. And mine was a little high. <laughs> and I was eating, you know, quote unquote healthy-ish stuff. I mean, all my content is still up. You can see what I ate before. Kate, stay back, please. Go over there, please, so you're not on camera. Yes. <laughs> um, hold on, let me define this. I just saw someone say almost every, oh, okay, first of all, ground tri-tip of burgers. I'll have to do that. I have so much tri-tip in my freezer. Almost every open heart surgery patient has low cholesterol and they're still on the operating table. Yeah. Yeah, so the cholesterol thing, that that's not a concern because it's, a it's just not, it's not how it works. And that's everyone's like, go-to thing is your cholesterol and it's it's not it you should try i know i need to i have like three bags in my freezer so this is what we're doing i'm just making a whole bunch of squished ones and i'm going to keep them in my fridge so they're just they're ready ready to go yeah i hope that made sense because i feel like we both kind of like rambled and it's a lot speak for yourself i didn't ramble well, it's just a lot. It's, it's just so involved, the answer on the cholesterol. Right. Um, so, yeah. Anything else? Go ahead and feel free to ask. What are you making back there? Some breakfast burgers. Cool. <sighs> okay. I'm hungry. These look really good. We're going to have to cook them up sooner than later. I should have cut way more than I did. <clears throat> yes, we work out. Um, uh, 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 we work out. Him more so than me. I'm getting back into it. I don't love working out, so for me, it's like we I'm, ramble, we work out. <laughs> I'm getting back at it. Yes, we have like a squat rack and all that stuff in the garage. Um, so yeah, I mean, I've lost 25 pounds. Without working out, but yes, I'm getting back. You're in the way of my magnificent. You're a busy mom too, so it's hard. Yeah, it's hard. I mean, you got it. There's not enough hours in the day, but it's just an excuse, at least for me. I mean, you make time for things you. I don't even want to see the egg flip. Oh, you guys want to see this? Oh, I wish you would have dropped that. I know. Um, do you eat any other kinds of meat? I usually just see beef on your video. Yeah, beef is ideal. Oh my god, I just washed my hair, so this isn't grease. This isn't. Every guy. Everyone thinks I'm just like excuting great grease. I can't even talk. Um, okay, so beef is ideal. Uh, you want ruminant animals. The micronutrients are better on beef. They're fatty. My hair is just everywhere. They're fatty. Um, they're not monogastric. So even though they're eating grass, their stomachs like do something completely different with it than ours. I mean, you can Google it. It's just I can't like. Memorize all this shit. I mean, I'm here to cook food. I can't. You can't and walk, it's also. You can't walk and chew bubblegum. <laughs> it's also um, it's easier to find. It's easier to find grass fed and Woo! grass finished beef than it is to find like chickens and pork that aren't eating corn and soy. So, as far as what they're eating, it's easier. But yeah, it's just better for you. People feel better. Um, you're gonna, you can feel great on an all-beef diet, and you probably wouldn't feel as great on like an all-pork diet. So, um, Unless you're Michaela Peterson. 
Well, that's she's eating lamb. She lamb. lamb. So it's still a ruminant animal. So, yeah, best egg flip. Hi, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> eight up, I'll give it an eight out of ten. Do not encourage Third him. Jam. I don't need any encouragement. Danny, how's your guys is? Oh, Kevin's here too. You want to get animals with multiple stomachs. That's why beef is good. Yes, because they are not monogastric. I wish I had multiple stomachs. Danny, Kevin, how is your keto vor journey going? Let me know. I need more parchment paper. Can you get me some? Right How many syllables were in that word? Never oh, mind, hang on. Parchment? Parchment? I should have cut more because I want to get everything beefy. I want to do my ice coffee. And I had way too much coffee. I think that was very potent on an empty, empty stomach. Mmm. There we go. Yummy. Breakfast burgers. The butter topping. For all you people, to freak you all out, extra blobs of butter just oozing onto those eggs oozing with gouda up. cheese. It's so gouda. It looks horrible, but it's amazing Let that butter just slide through my arteries. Yes, you want, <laughs> you want high fat. And the salt, the real really salt. awesome, losing weight too. Animal base is going great. Ooh. Awesome. Oh yeah, you guys are more animal based than carnivore. Yeah. Cool, cool. Whatever works. There's Saladino ends. Yeah, well, that's how I started too, and then I feel better without fruit. Exactly, that's the and thing. Don't let anybody tell you, oh, if you're carnivore, you can't do this, or if you're animal, you can't do this, or do whatever works for you. Experiment. You well, know? that, but I mean, I'm just. I, I wasn't taking a survey. Okay? I'm <laughs> reading more because I. I toyed with the idea of adding fruit back in and I talked about it and I got a lot of people saying do not eat those sugars and carbs from fruit while on a high fat diet. It's fine diet. if you're not eating 100 million milligrams of it. Well, you don't know what I do. I know exactly what you do. The point is experiment and do what works for you. Do blood tests, see how you feel. Yeah, I mean I guess eat. if, I mean Saladino just Everyone's said different. his um his lab results, and I guess everything was fine, so I don't know what the issue what? would be. Devin, if you're still here, maybe you can chime in you know, a little bit more about that than, than I do. The science and the why behind everything. <clears throat> oh my god, I'm starving. I should have ate before. Come on here, all meat and fruit. Kevin, are you still like in ketosis, do you think? How much fruit and stuff are you having? I like fruit for my when you drop the fruit at some point. Yeah, I mean, I feel like it's a good way to, if you are gonna go carnivore, it's a good way to kind of like ease into it too, is keeping that fruit and stuff so it's not totally drastic. It, that's kind of what helped for me get into it. Okay, I'm starving. Can I have a bite? No. <laughs> too much coffee. Yeah, I put coffee back in my diet, which probably wasn't a good idea. A lot of people are concerned about fruit because in evolution we more likely had one or the other. That's a good point. My interest in hydration comes down about 15 pounds. Awesome. Yeah, I guess so having the fruit and the meat at the same time wouldn't be good. Okay, so yeah, they would have gone through periods of time where just eating the plants or the fruit on its own. Right, when they didn't have the meat, when that's they didn't how they sustain. That's the why it's so fattening and everything to get them through winter and scarcity. Yeah, I, you got that when we have a bite. I start, right, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna choose the bite. <laughs> All right, you can have this one. You're lucky. This is a bite. That's huge. <laughs> Just bites are 10 bites in one. I'm this, this is a bite. Mm -hmm. Mm-mm. Oh, oh, oh. It's so hot. Uh, yeah. Steven, I think that too. Hmm. What? I'm not good. <coughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm just dying. Stop me. Get out of here. Um, I wasn't biting. The not being in ketosis the whole time. Uh, that's why I was toying with the idea of having like one fruit day. Do not kick it under the fridge. 
Um, just to kick myself out of ketosis, just to like loosen things up again, or a bit. And that's when people started being like, oh my God, don't do that. Well, the strict carnivore people. I still want to, I think. Yeah, do it. Just to mix it up. But we'll see. How you mix, I don't mix, have mix any, a lot. Like, I don't have any cravings for fruit. The only time, like, I would, um, the only time I do, like, want some is when I'm cutting it up for the kids. I'm like, oh, this would be delicious to have a bite. But I know it's a slippery slope for me, and it wouldn't just be one bite. It would just trigger the cravings again. But other than that, like, I'm not sitting here, like, feeding for fruit or, Beanie. or Beanie. any other foods. The cravings are just gone. Which is nice. Not a burger in my teeth, sorry. Feel it. Oh. I never eat fruit in the morning either. I don't want the spike in insulin to turn off cortisol. Well that's interesting because then I hear people saying that they do what they do do the fruit in the morning to like have your carbs early in the morning for the energy or whatever. If if I don't you, know. That's if you need that. Even. Yeah. Well, no, yeah. Should the later you, the later you push it off, because in the morning you've got the the fat burning, you've got all that going. You don't want to shut it off um, by eating fruit first thing in the morning. However, some people, if they do need that energy for whatever reason, their bio uh, chemical process needs that, then then they do that. And again, there's a, if you're not trying to lose weight, like you're already at a goal. Yeah, I feel like that's weight, different too. Woman, woman, like Saladino's in full weight. If you're already at a goal weight or fitness and you're working out a lot, then that doesn't matter as much per se. So when you're buying salt, make sure you buy the 10 billion gallon <laughs> bucket like this woman did. So, well, dude, this stuff is money though. I was blowing through Shit. the smaller packets and but you it didn't made- mean, you didn't mean to buy this. Yeah. I thought you accidentally did it. No. Oh. Remember I told you before I bought it, I'm like, do I save Don't money start to- start any question with remember. Yeah, he doesn't remember. <laughs> It was way cheaper to buy the big thing. I mean, I'm just blowing through salt. We eat so much salt, and that's my favorite, not sponsored. <laughs> Again, I'm trying, uh, but it's just really good. It's really good. I saw a question. Can you explain some of the health benefits, please? Uh, just optimal health, honestly. Every <laughs> what? I mean, that it's just for everything. Like the benefits are everything. Um, my skin has cleared up a ton. Um, I have way more energy. Um, what else? Uh, Everyone has mental clarity and lack of brain fog. I don't think that's kicked in for me yet. Not yet. Uh, um, if you're having bowel issues, it could clear that up. Um, yeah, it's very, it like heals your gut because you're not having all that fiber and crap that's making you all gassy and bloated. You're, and this isn't strict to carnivore, but um, you're not having food crashes throughout the day. You're not having the food comas. You're not going up and down, uh, which, I mean, the same could be said for keto, but uh, yeah, getting all the sugar and crap out of your you eat. And with carnivore more specifically, or animal based, you don't have to count calories, you don't have to count macros. Well, you have two macros. But you're, and I've said this before, before, <clears throat> before I could eat uh, a pizza, I can eat, sit down and eat an entire pizza, and then still eat a gallon of ice cream, and then still eat an entire three row package of Oreos, and then some frozen yogurt. Because it's good, and you got those dopamine hits, but you don't, it doesn't trigger that satiation and full. Whereas your hunger cues are. If I wrapped. sit down and eat a one pound ribeye, maybe I can have a little bit more of something else, but I'm done. I'm not going to eat a one pound ribeye and then eat a gallon of ice cream and keep going. So you eat when you're hungry, you stop eating when you're full for the most part. If if maybe you're really overweight and you're doing something and something's not working, you know, maybe track how many calories you're having and you can check that out at first. But outside of that, for the most part, just and it, sometimes it takes a few weeks or a month for your body to adjust to those cues, but then when you do that, you'll start losing weight if that's your goal, or you won't will gain weight, and you can basically eat as much as you want while doing that. Yeah, I mean, I'm... I hate doing air quotes. <laughs> I am a former yo-yo dieter, binge eater, emotional eater, you name it, I've tried it, and I've had a shitty relationship with food. Now, a lot of people like to say I traded one form of disorder eating for another, but honestly, I've never felt better eating this way. I don't think about food all day like I I was, and I'm not obsessing over it. You just it. want to eat and fat and eat meat and ribeyes and steak Yeah, like, all a, day. do you get sick of Amazing. eating this way? I'm like, no, it's fucking delicious. I got sick of eating 
the old way when I would like meal prep and you know track my macros it that I would get sick of this has been amazing I feel like I ran I got off topic what was I talking about they just asked what time oh. it was <laughs> But yeah, just the food freedom. And I know that doesn't make sense because like everything is off the table, but it's just different. It just, it switches how you mentally think about food. It's hard to explain unless you honestly try it. 30 days, give it a shot for 30 days. I bet it would change your life. And that's the thing, people, if you're concerned about the blood and this and the that and da 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 da, nothing can be detrimental with a caveat. Nothing can be detrimental for doing something for 30 days. You're not going to increase the cholesterol, you're not going to do anything if that's a concern. Do something for 30 days, see how you feel. If you feel amazing and it's a good thing, keep going and then get your blood work done and to make sure for you that things are how you think they are. But if you have tried other things and if you're feeling issues, gut, tiredness, whatever, it's worth a shot, get a shot. If it doesn't work, if you don't feel good on it, which, you know, not 100% of the people are going to feel good. Some people, for whatever reason, Maybe they're doing it wrong, or their body, they just don't feel good on it. Then, then do something else. Go to an animal, or go to a keto, or whatever. But, um, but oh shit, I switched up my plates. I guess it doesn't matter, didn't touch it. Um, honestly, I felt a difference after like two weeks. Like, definitely give it 30 days, but after like a couple weeks, you will feel amazing. I would bet. And that is that. Put your bottom dollar the all right, how many pounds do I have? What did I start with? But is that three, right? Well, I know I had. Was it two extra or one? This might be enough. I guess I could always freeze it. Why yeah. is my hair falling out? In a hair tie. Speaking of downsides of the carnivore diet. <laughs> no, my hair has actually gotten better. I just I never wear it down, and I washed it today for the first time in two weeks. Should I not admit that? Thank no, you my hair, my hair, skin, and nails have improved. It is. It's very, in the beginning, you might not even be eating enough because it's so satisfying and satiating and filling to be eating this way and having all that fat. This is rated G. This is a G. Yeah, Kids are on this app. We're gangster. <laughs> Anything else we need to touch on? <laughs> Um, I'm going live on Instagram tomorrow with my friend Devin. Well, we She's in here. Touch on questions that come in. Whoa. We're going to be talking about frequently asked questions tomorrow on Instagram, 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. 5 a.m. Hawaii. No. 8. In Hawaii? Aren't they three hours behind us? Yeah, so 8 a.m. Pacific. 11 a.m. Pacific. You said 8 a.m. Pacific. No, I said 11 a.m. Let's go back to the table. I wonder tape. if there is a list of items to start off going carnivore to get me started. Yes. Meat. No, but I do. I made I made a grocery list of staples. It's free. It's on my website. It's free. Well, yeah, it's not like I'm selling it. It's just I free. Know. You just got to download it. Um, honestly, meat, beef, mm -hmm. butter, salt. That's it, on the strict that, side. That's, yeah, and then, um, I mean, any meats are on the table. Beef is ideal, lamb, but yeah, go CourtneyLuna.com slash links. We'll have it pop up for a grocery download, grocery list download. So that just goes a little bit more deeper and detailed. Electrolytes, yeah, I mean, you probably want to focus on those in the beginning when you're transitioning so sodium, magnesium, and potassium. I salt the shit out of everything. I'm not taking any sort of potassium. There is like light salt you can use if you need potassium. I do take a magnesium pill here and there. Um, it's supposed to help with like anxiety and mental stuff too. So since I'm weaning off Zoloft, I'm taking that. And then sometimes, well, yeah, too much can make you poop. Um, sometimes I will like stretch at night and get a leg cramp. So I, that's when you need magnesium. Calcium. Listen to Dr. Barry. Yeah. Dr. Barry's great. Um, Dr. Sean Baker, Dr. Anthony Chafee is great too. Two weeks in, my dad is the one who suggested it for us. Awesome. And how do you feel so far? Oh, you know, it helped our mental health tremendously. Yes. I mean, huge shift. I'm still a little bit crazy, but you've noticed like a shift in my Enough that I feel confident that I can go off my Zoloft. <laughs> he doesn't agree. So no other seasonings. 
Okay, so seasoning. It's up to the person. To me, if I'm cutting out plants out of my diet, I'm not going to season my food with plants. That being said, a lot of people in the carnivore community still use seasoning. Um, if you have some like major issues, health issues, gut issues that you're trying to heal, I would do no seasoning and then maybe like add it back in after a month or so and yeah. see how you tolerate it. But I love eating this simple way. And and as, it, <laughs> as crazy as it sounds, I mean, I used to cook for a living. I was a chef on yachts. I didn't cook carnivore food. I made, you can be in this. I know. You're not in it. I made yummy and delicious food. So it's weird to be coming from that to not even using a seasoning. Um, like I said, purists will say no, but if you don't have major issues, like she said, then I can put some pepper on there. Put a little bit of garlic. Do whatever you want to do. Yeah. If that's, that if, drink sounds good. if that is what you need to do to stick to it, that the benefits far outweigh the potential micro cosmic yeah but i mean if you've got like autoimmune stuff maybe give it a shot well, yeah. without and then if you're doing this for assess. significant health reasons go strict and then play uh someone asked our weight loss we're both around 25 mm. pounds right now i still have a ways to go as you can see i mean look my arms are still fat um what did i weigh so i probably still have like 40 pounds i still have like 40 pounds to lose um he I'm done on. I won't comment on what she needs to lose. No, but you're pretty much like there at your goal weight. You're well, I'm below my goal weight actually. I need to lift back up. So, so yes, yeah, I started this muscle. at around 220. I'm down to 193, and so I need to. I don't want to weigh any less than 190. Ideally, I'd like to be about 205. So, about. so you'll shift. I mean, because I mean, I'm not saying you're fat, but you're still gonna you. lose. Like you want to lose a little bit of body fat, but bring the muscle up, and that way your weight's still the same, or no? Or you don't yeah. want to lose any more fat? No, of course not. Okay, well, I don't want to assume things. No, I'm... We started a few months ago. I started, it's probably maybe like three and a half months ago, and he started a little bit before that, but you were just more like keto. Like, yeah. we were still eating vegetables then, but no I, vegetables as of like three and a half months. I'm not concerned with getting like super low body fat. Like, I'm around 20 little over 20 percent right now i'd be happy like around 17 17 18 percent at around 200 pounds so that's why we got the power rack in the garage yeah i'm just getting Which, it out to the garage lifting is an extremely important aspect of this vitiligo is that the skin discoloration thing what vitiligo vitiligo Vit what yeah. What's it say? I don't, give me context. She said, I have vitiligo, which is an autoimmune disease. Know, did that? Heard. Did it help eating this way then? What does your doctor say about your diet? I love this question. Um, there are tons of doctors in oh. the carnivore community that support this diet. But what does your doctor say? I didn't tell my doctor. <laughs> Why would I tell my doctor? Yeah. They don't know shit about nutrition. Most doctors are not trained. Joe Rogan had that? So that's with the skin whitening. Okay, and then so eating this way fix that? That's very interesting because I know somebody in, in real life, no, it hasn't helped. I think I'm low on iodine, okay. Mm. Interesting, I haven't, I'll have to look more into that because I haven't and heard of people trying to look, heal that with here's this. Here's the thing. I think this like, is enough. Like with everything, some people are zealots and will say, start just eating red meat, cut everything out, and it will cure everything in the world. That's not the case. Some people, you could eat this way and you could develop an issue. Uh, some people, their issues aren't going to be uh, helped or cured by this. But for the vast majority of people with a lot of issues, eating this way and cleaning out what you're doing is going to help whatever they have. So that's what i got to say about that. That's your story and you're sticking to it? Mm -hmm. Go back to explaining why doctors don't know anything about health. I okay. want to hear it. Let me oh. talk about this. <laughs> Well, let you're me just, do my short gonna, version. You're just going to yell. I'm not going to yell. They don't know about nutrition. They're, I mean, ask any doctor. They're not doing, okay. a ton, what, eight hours on nutrition or something. They're not going to the root of the problem. You are going to them, and they are giving you a prescription, okay? So they don't know shit about this. What did Keaton say? They get 13 class units on nutrition. Yeah. yeah. They don't know anything. That's not what they're trying to do. They're there, and not to say TikTok that they're... doctors know all. No. I mean, okay, okay and also... Paul Saladino, he's not the only one that eats this way. Just because you see him on TikTok, that's not like our our God who we are worshiping. I'm not even eating how he eats. There are Dr. Ken Berry, Dr. Chafee, Dr. Sean Baker, um, 
Judy Cho, like that's a great you can, place to start. You can, easily, you can chime in because I'm going to get annoyed. Uh, exactly. <laughs> that's why she doesn't well, handle yeah. any of our customer service calls. <laughs> She's not allowed to call the phone company. Well, I just... Anyway. Okay. Yes. Good. See, okay, finally. Chime in. I'm chiming. Uh, yeah. So they're not taught nutrition and they don't... Not that doctors are bad or evil or trying to make you sick but they don't have time for all that especially gps they're they got to go all the patients go through it go through it, and they don't have the time and the money that the insurance is going to pay to do multitude of tests now that being said diet should be the first thing they go to whenever that there's an issue but they don't do it and some could be malicious some could be just ignorance lack of education lack of knowledge on the topic i'm not following up i can't do that crap um and so that's what it is plus Yes, there's, Tina, there's, you're so right. There's no money in eating well. Yeah, you can't make money big, off of you if you're not if Big you're, Pharma, they want you to sick. just put you on statins, put you on this, put you on that. And sometimes that is the correct path, but it should be <laughs> diet first. You know, if someone's oh overweight God. chronically or someone has any issues, it should be diet first. They should go to that nutrition, but they're not mm -hmm. nutritionists. They're doctors, so they have to do everything else. That being said, even a lot of the old school nutritionists you know, this all, now we're going down the rabbit hole, it all goes back to the 50s and 60s and even before with the big battle between carbs and fat and how it got into the government, they flipped the pyramid so that they can sell all this corn and all this grain and all this crap. What do you do with my mug? Patients diets. Oh, it's in there freezing my iced coffee. Um, so yeah, uh, most, a lot of doctors, just like anything. This is my slogan, eat me and question everything. Doctors don't... Don't fucking believe everything that the media is telling you to believe. They want to keep you sick. Plus, you'll know if your doctor got an A or a D and made it through medical school. <laughs> and you, know, you can keep doing it, keep doing it. Just like lawyers, you can take the bar a hundred times before you pass. Doesn't mean you, you know anything. So, again, this isn't a slam on doctors, but... They don't know. know what they don't know. And they don't have, they don't have time to do everything with, with everybody. Nutritionist, thanks. I know, I love the mug too. You know, I, I, this isn't, I'm not trying to sell shit, but they are available because I made one and people wanted yeah, one. Yeah, so. my headaches, that's a big thing. Um, nutritionists, yes, there are nutritionists in this community. Um, there, there's a lot, and again, there's a, it's like everything. You can have personal trainers for fitness. You can go to a hundred of them and you'll get a hundred different prescriptions of, yes, of what that you should do. So it's the same thing with doctors, same thing with nutritionists. And here's another thing with nutritionists, this is very simple. So there's no money in a nutritionist to say, oh, just do this, you go and you're on your way. It's all about, I gotta do a meal plan, and I gotta do this, and blah, 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 blah. And again, not knocking them, that's their business, that is what it is, but this is so simple, it's eat your meat and done. But okay, so nutritionists, yes, they are taught, okay, this is very interesting, they are ta taught the sad diet or sad. Right. Um, I'm talking with a few who are actually in school right now for it, but eat this way and they're like pulling their hair out on what they're being taught. Um, as far as the nutritionists, you can check out, um, doc, no, she, I guess she's not doctor, but Judy Cho, she wrote the carnivore cure. It's fabulous. She's on Instagram. She's great. Um, there's a few others and I'm, I want to say Diana Rogers. She's a big one on, they're coming out. I don't think it's happened yet. The sacred cow, like a dog a documentary. Um, Plus, another thing I want to say, I really yeah. hate the yes. argument from authority. Do people say, are you a biologist? Are you a doctor? Are you a this? Are you a that? It's like, I don't need to be a meteorologist to know that the sun is shining right now. Okay, so we're not talking about specific deep things. Okay, you, you, especially this day and age. Information is everywhere. If you have the time and energy and the will to actually do some research and dig into it, you can get the information. So, the whole RUA XYZ. I actually got that comment this morning and I'm like, oh, that's just so, yeah. you don't, that's ridiculous. It's, what's the title or what's it called? Your, when they use that, your fallacy, your. It's an argument from authority. Author, author, authoritative fallacy. This is why I don't talk on the why. Author, I just, authoritative fallacy. There you go. I share the food. Yeah. I'm not good at the I'm, why. I'm, not, I'm not a biologist, but I know how to make a baby. Oh, God. Oh, that's my new shirt. I'm having to print it up. <laughs> All statistics, let's see where these people are in two years. Yeah, we'll be thriving, darling. I hardly have dairy, maybe if I have lunch, I drink oat milk only, ooh. But oat milk, oat milk's not that great for you. I mean, look, go read, read the ingredients. That's 
stuff is sold tons oh, yeah. of junk. Yeah. Oops. Oh no. No boy bueno. now. I used to have it too. No judgment. Hardware okay. would definitely help you. Oh yeah. So someone who asked about inflammation. Yes. And then Keevan on here. He has. Um, what'd you say? Like your uh, arthritis stuff has gone away. Eating this way. So someone was asking about their joint inflammation, which this would totally help. I just downloaded your grocery list. I'm happy to see seafood on there. Yeah, I mean, okay, so all, all <laughs> meats are on the table. It's just how picky you want to get. So, I mean, you know, our waters are polluted and fish are eating that stuff and getting all that stuff in them. So it's really just up to you. That's why ruminant animals are going to be the best, grass-fed, grass-finished, but... I'm not eating just that. You know, you gotta do what your budget allows for too. Eating conventional meat is gonna be way better than eating a standard American diet, for sure. Arthritis from a million different spots and other injuries, all pain gone. Yeah, I mean, meat heals, it really does. And I know it sounds crazy, I know it sounds <laughs> wacky to get rid of all the vegetables, but you know what? Meat has everything we need. It has all, all the nutrients and stuff you're getting from plants, you can get that and more from from animals and they're more what's the word bioavailable is that the right word yes <laughs> your body can absorb them way better it than doesn't have to go through another uh, another process before you do that to get them from plants so no veggies equals no gas and bloating yeah, yeah. no there's no gas <laughs> still story. waiting for just to totally clear up but yeah, no, I mean, it's just, I've never felt better eating this way. It's been life-changing. Um, I think that's enough for today. Any last questions? If not, um, pop onto my Instagram tomorrow at 11 Pacific. Um, we will be going over more frequently asked questions. How about heart health? Oh, Devin, what's that? Uh, if you're still on here, what's that, um, that doctor, the cardiologist, or what is he, heart surgeon? What's his name? What's his name? What's that heart surgeon guy that talks about this all the time? Fuck. Doc, thank you. Dr. Ovedia. Go, oh, his book. What's his book? Don't end up on my operating table. I oh, think yeah. something like it's, that. It's Go it's check that my, out. It's lowered my blood pressure. Please don't take medical advice from this TikTok. God, there's always some hater. Go do, you do you, dude. This isn't medical advice being bad. Sharing my journey. Go eat your fucking seed oils and your sugars. I don't give a shit. Slow it down now. Is he a cardiologist doctor? I didn't think he was. What do you do for your birthday without birthday cake? I had, what did I have? I just had burgers or steak or something. A what? heart surgeon. Why don't you get opinions? I don't, I didn't see that one. Why don't you get opinions from dietitians outside of the carnivore community? Well, I do, they say they don't agree, right? I mean, <laughs> yeah. they don't agree. You're gonna have people on both sides, so. So why don't you get don't opinions you get, from people in the car why don't community? You, why don't so you it's get, kind of like the same thing. Why don't you, you know? get your car fixed by a doctor? <laughs> no response to that one. I, there's always going to be people on both sides. So you got to do what's best for you yeah. and what makes the most sense. So. Yeah. The first orange association with the new meat. Follow the money trail, guys. People that are coming up with all this shit and telling you what to eat, follow the money. They're being sponsored by garbage. Did you see the White House thing that they just came out saying that Frosted Flakes is better than meat? Yeah, question everything you're told. Fuck, after the last few years, you think we can be critical thinkers. Well, if you're consulting these dietitians, isn't that confirmation by it? But I can say the same to you. You're going to people outside of the carnivore community because you believe that's how you should eat, right? So it's confirmation bias. And, but it's not it's, just that, it's science. And it's not just those in the carnivore community. There's a lot of doctors and nutritionists that aren't carnivores themselves that still prescribe this way of eating. So it's not yeah. that they're in the community. Yeah, I follow a lot of um, doctors on Instagram that are very heavy on promoting um, meat and a meat-based diet, but they're still having like avocados and some, um, what's the word, like lower oxalates or whatever of like yeah. squashes and stuff, so some vegetables. So there's doctors and nutritionists and all that that aren't 100% in the carnivore community that are still 100% pushing an animal-based like diet and eating red Thomas meat. Thomas DeLauer, who is yeah. not accredited, but... He's, he's a proponent of carnivore, but he's mainly a keto guy, but he goes on and off of keto. 
he does carnivore, hasn't done it. He'll talk about it, but yeah, again. he was just on Saladino's podcast. Yeah, he's he's our go-to keto guy, and he's like eating fruits here and there. So it's just interesting, you know, and everything evolve like you learn and things change, and you just got to be open-minded. And Malleable to the adaptation. Kelly Hogan, yeah, Kelly Hogan's another good one too. Yeah, her doctor suggested it to her. Yeah, I mean, doctors back this up, and they and they're not necessarily carnivore either. But there's nothing wrong okay i think we're good right thank you guys so much thanks for being here that was really fun um last chance for questions before i walk over to the end button and take an hour to figure out how to end this thing say bye jeffrey why can't i ever end it there we go okay bye guys